morning. Um, I'm Nezzy Wade, and I have a long history with this ordinance uh, and working towards getting the permissions for having safe parking, safe sheltering. And I'm very much in favor of extending the timeline. It would be really important. I know back when all this started, there was comment uh, made that nobody, nobody's going to try this project. And it was because it's onerous. It's hard to do. A lot for the reasons that Kent was talking about in terms of the cost and all of these things. When the pilot limits it to 15 people, that could be cost prohibitive as well. There are lots of different parts of it that we should probably explore. But I think the biggest thing in making this a successful program is that the county actually do what we would do with any other kind of initial program to implement it. You don't have a first time home buyer program and then just leave it on the shelf. You do a lot of work to get people involved and to work to coordinate and collaborate and make these opportunities possible. All right, right now in this community, in Humboldt, we have more people who want to help with these kinds of projects that have ever we've ever had before. Lots of different groups. Another barrier for these low barrier projects is the regulations about how they can happen and uh, one of the things uh, that I want to encourage you to think about is the thing that makes it possible for people who want to move out of a situation of being unhoused into some kind of stable uh, community or experience is that sense of community so you know, the, the notion of having an institutional arrangement where people can go to and so forth is not the same thing as having community involved in creating these kinds of opportunities. So it's really important that we do this with a lot of groups, a lot of people who are interested to make it happen everywhere. Yes, Southern Humboldt certainly needs that. But so does Northern Humboldt. Everything in Humboldt County needs this kind of support. And then we can bring support services to them and do a lot more work. But it really does require that the county do the outreach to bring people to the forum to do this and, and to offer some incentives, whether it's, um, you know, easing some of those regulations. We do have a shelter crisis declaration. We've had that for a long time and we should be able to use some of that still. So um, I think it's important to do it for 24 months, but just to do 24 more months with no other additional activities and engagement with the community and the groups to make it happen. And not just the, the, the big nonprofits. There are lots of community groups that want to help do this. So thank you. Please extend it and then work with all of us to make it happen. Thank you.